no gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome to another video. Uh, it's been a long time, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, give her a go here and see what uh, what we can make happen. So we're here on No Creek Farms. We're running Seasons Mod uh, here as well. Pretty decent map. Um, I've enjoyed playing on it the little that I have in the past. Uh, I haven't played it since he released his update. Um, he's changed a few things in the update, but... Um, yeah, so... What we're going to do here today is I'll give you guys kind of a tour of the machines that uh, we have here on the farm and, you know, the other items that I've added. And then... Um, We'll get started on our spring planting because we are on day four of spring, so we are able to start planting all crops. Uh, we're going to be running wheat, uh, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. Those are all the crops that we will be planting, so we're going to go ahead and plant our wheat first, of course, and then uh, we'll start planting our other crops as we go. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, head over here into the shop where we have some of the equipment. Um, in here we have the John Deere 1590 drill. Uh, this drill is from MF Modding on Facebook. It's a Facebook group you can join. Um, it's been re-textured and new dirt skins and stuff like that. Um, so that's our drill uh, for our, row, our other row crops such as corn and beans and all that stuff. We have the international 900 Cyclo. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find this most places. Uh, here we have the Stilla sprayer. This is the one from the official mod hub. This isn't the in-game one. Uh, it's the one from the official mod hub that is set up for the sprayer add-on script. Um, and then I just adjusted the speed uh, limiter on this so that way I can drive basically as fast as I want. Um, I can choose what speed I want to run at. Uh, here we have the Kroger Agerliner, um, uh, tipper or auger wagon trailer. This is for filling the cedars. Um, pretty sure that's from, like, the official mod hub or something like that, too. Uh, honestly, a lot of this stuff I don't really remember. A few things I can kind of remember, but the rest I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, if I don't remember where it's at, you can probably just as well Google it and you'll be able to find it. Uh, this is the liquid chemical trailer. Um, this is also done by MF Modding. Uh, so we've got that to fill our sprayer. Uh, that's all we got in there. And then over here we have the pressure washer uh, to clean up our equipment. And then here we have the, uh, the three grain bins that are on the map. And then I placed a 400,000 bushel bin. Because... Um, these bins are set for wheat, uh, soybeans, and corn. So we have those three crops that we can put in there. And then we'll put our sunflowers in this bin right here. Um, now here we have the Westfield auger. This is basically a retexture or a reskin of the Farm King. I don't remember where I found it. It was in some Facebook group. Um, which one I have no re I can't remember. But some Facebook group. Here we've got two Brent 757 uh, gravity wagons. Uh, pretty sure these are on most mod sites. Uh, a case, I believe it's a 290. Uh, disc, this is our cultivator. Um, that is from some mod site too. Maybe old school farming or something like that. Um, and then we have the case 340. Um, true tandem. This is the plow that we've got. Um, and then if we walk up here to this shed. And here we have our equipment. So we'll start here in the back. we got the Versatile 875. This is for the uh, tillage equipment. 
uh, is what this thing will be used for. Uh, Case International 2388 Axial Flow Combine. Uh, John Deere 4555, this thing's main use is going to be on the drill. Uh, it may occasionally run the sprayer or uh, something else if needed. Like maybe if uh, we need to run the wagons and, you know, out in the wintertime, uh, this is probably what, you know, will go on the wagons in the wintertime. Uh, either that or the uh, International 3688. Again, this one, uh, its main use is going to be on the Cyclo Planner. Uh, it may also run the sprayer, uh, kind of just depending on, you know, like let's say if I got, if I've got this planting some, you know, crop with the drill and need to spray at the same time, I can use this tractor uh, or can also use this to run the wagons in the wintertime. Uh, we've got two John Deere 4320s, one to run the auger and one to run the wagons in the summertime. Um, obviously, wouldn't want to use this in the wintertime, really. A little too cold for that. Um, and then, if we walk up here to our other shop here. In here, we've got the... Oh, uh, what is this again? Uh, it's a 2016 Chevy Silverado. This is a 1500. Uh, I work on a lot of these as I work at a uh, Chevy dealership. And uh, these are very nice trucks in real life. I enjoy work, enjoyed, you know, seeing them and working on them. I guess um, this was on a Facebook page. I don't remember which one though. But this is just version one. Um, I don't. Oh, it has an inverted camera. Um, I don't know if they're gonna fix the interior in version two or like what they're gonna do. Um, it doesn't have like a visual hitch. But it has a hitch there, like I can hook a trailer on, but there's no actual hitch. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, here we have the Dodge Ram uh, D250. This has the plow mount on the front, and then it has a toolbox in the back, along with a fifth wheel plate, and also the uh, receiver hitch. And we actually have the boss plow back here in the corner. And then we have, uh, finally, our Bobcat S770 with the random manufacturing uh, snowplow. Uh, this is mainly going to be for, like, in the yard. And then we'll use the truck to plow, like, the street or the roads and the, um, you know, over at the cell point and stuff like that in the wintertime. Um, excuse me. Once wintertime does roll around. So what we're going to do here now is we need to start planting... So, like I said, we're going to start uh, by planting uh, some wheat. So, I think we're going to put wheat in fields 5 and 6. Uh, let's just kind of run across the map here. Uh, 5 and 6 is down here. And how we get to it is a good question. How do we get into these fields? I can tell you get across here. Uh, looks like we've got to drive across the pasture so basically we uh, take this little road right here and come on down so five and six we're gonna put some wheat in um, and then we'll go over here to field nine and I think we'll probably put some corn in this field um, what's field 10 look like field 10 uh, fields nine and ten we'll put corn in uh, those should be pretty decent for corn and then uh, if we run back on up here we'll probably put um, let's see we'll do wheat and corn in five and six and I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna write all this down so I don't forget it and uh, uh, just use this pen um, okay, so we've got wheat, and then we've got corn, beans, and flowers. So wheat's going to be in 5 slash 6. Um, sunflowers will do in field 1. Corn is going to be in 9 slash 10. And beans will be in 2. So that's how we're going to set that up here, I think. Um, Alright. So. 
<coughs> um, we need to, first off, we need to take the tender trailer up and uh, get it filled. And we're going to go ahead and take the uh, Dodge up there for that. So we're going to open this big door here. Just close the door. Uh, Cause we aren't gonna really need to go back in there for a while. So like I said, first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to um, go ahead and go fill the seed tender up with some seed. out of here oh, come on Got collisions in the way here there we go all right we made it out of there so now we can go ahead and close this door back up because we're gonna need to go in that door for a while uh, this camera is also inverted uh, for those of you that don't know what an inverted camera is it means that basically when you look when you move your mouse to the left it looks right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and record a course play course there and back uh, because the cell point, seed, fertilizer, all that stuff is all in one spot on this map. Uh, as you can see, everything is right over there. So I want to be able to have a course heading that way for you know if I need to sell grain, but you know, also need to do something else or you know kind of whatever. Uh, just for when I need to have it, uh, have course play take something over there or bring something back. Uh, so you do start off owning almost every single field. Um, there's just three, four, five, well, no, not quite, I guess. You own pretty much the ones that are like right around the farm, I guess. Uh, the other. There are ones that are a little farther away you have to buy, but there are quite a few fields on this map, uh, except the fields that we have right now I think will be plenty. Shouldn't need anything more than that. Alright, so here we are. Uh, here is the area, I'll call it. Alright, so we're going to save this as farm-area. We'll just call it the area. And we'll go ahead and put that in our transfer folder. And then we can uh, X off of that course. And now we need to go find where the seed trigger is at. <clears throat> Assuming this is going to be seed. Yes, it is. Alright. So we'll go ahead and get this refilled with some seeds, and then we'll head on back over to the farm, and uh, we'll get get started on some planting. We should have enough seed in this to last for a while then. Alright, so we have 21,000 liters of seeds. Like I said, that should hopefully last us a little while. Um, okay. I'll be right back. Our power... Alrighty, guys. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so we are going to head on back over to the farm here and then 
get started on some planting. See if we can't get uh, at least the first couple rounds done of the field here. This is definitely a nice map. Um, there have been quite a few others that have been released lately. Uh, Autumn Oaks, Bedford County, and also Mills County. Uh, those are all good maps. I've played a little on Autumn Oaks. Um, and I, when I was deciding to get back into making some videos, I had kind of kind of had to decide between did I want to do No Creek or Autumn Oaks, and I decided no creek um, this is a very very nice map and um, figure why not play on it so all right we got that done so we're gonna go ahead and get the truck lined up and ready basically and then uh, we'll go ahead and grab the tractor out of the shed here and uh, then we can make our way down there down to uh, fields five and six. Go ahead and get these doors opened up. Now, I don't have my steering wheel set up right now. Uh, I had taken my SciTech wheel down to use um, my G27. Uh, to play some American Truck Sim for a little while, but then I didn't really, didn't really feel like it um, after a little while, and I actually ended up uninstalling American Truck Sim uh, because I had bought uh, Call of Duty World War II, but I um, haven't installed it yet. I actually don't have enough disk space for whatever reason. Uh, actually, I do know the reason. I have way too many mods here in FS. Um, and need to go through my mods uh, desperately and delete quite a few. Um, but, yeah, uh, so I uninstalled pretty much everything except for Gold Rush and Farm Sim. Um, Gold Rush I played on and off, uh, kind of. You know, every once in a while I'll play it. Uh, especially now they released a new DLC for it, so I kind of played it a little bit um, to try that out, but <coughs> um, really just haven't felt felt all that into games in general lately. Uh, but kind of getting back into things now here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put the pickup on follow me mod here. And then before we leave the yard, I need to remember to go shut these doors over here. We don't need our doors sitting wide open. And then we will go ahead and make our way down here to the field. And actually, I need to look at this here quick and just make sure I know where I'm going. Alright. So there aren't actually any, like, paths or anything, I don't think, connecting to the field that we're, fields that we're trying to get to. Unless there is, and I'm just missing them, but I don't uh, don't see anything. So we're gonna have to kind of drive across the uh, across the pasture there. That's all right. We don't have any animals right now, so 
no worries about them uh, getting out or anything. So we'll go ahead and make our way down here, I guess. And then we'll uh, fill the planter up when we get down there, and then we'll uh, see if we can't get a couple rounds done before we end the video here. I will say this tractor does uh, get up and move pretty well. Hopefully, yeah, that gate should be wide enough. Uh, one thing that I'm kind of anxious to see, uh, I see that in a couple of days there's chances of rain. Uh, one script that the creator of this map put into this map is that when it rains, uh, water actually like rises in the um, like drainage ditches and low spots and stuff like that so I am kinda anxious to see that um, that from the pictures you know I haven't really this is the first time I've played it since he released the update with that and uh, from the pictures it looks pretty awesome but like I said I haven't uh, haven't played on it since he released that, so not uh, entirely sure just how it truly looks in uh, you know, seeing it firsthand, aside from just pictures. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop that guy right there, and we will set this up right there, and we'll go ahead and grab our truck here and. We'll get this thing filled up. Uh, let's see, it's oh. Now comes the tricky part of getting it lined up to so that it actually fills our grain drill. Uh, R. Nope. Not right there. See, now uh, this is the part that I always hate. Just trying to get it to fill. And it's doing literally nothing but make piles on the ground. Okay, maybe this is not going to work like I had hoped. It's just wanting to make piles of seeds okay oops my bad well for the time being I guess what I'm going to do is just put down placeable seed till I can figure out I'll have to do some off-camera testing with this figure out where the sweet spot so to speak is at. and we'll just put a seed tank right there and then uh, after I get some time to mess around with it figure out just where to put it exactly to get it to fill then I will uh, go ahead and do that but for the time being we'll just uh, fill it up right here like this plant pretty quick with this thing. I'm actually going to drop down our cruise control here and we'll go seven. Uh, actually we'll drop it down to six there. See if we can't get a couple of rounds done at least. Maybe get like three rounds done and then we'll uh, color a video and we'll continue on uh, in the next video. So it's uh, Wednesday for me when I'm recording this right now. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing this on Friday. Um, if you haven't 
gone and watched the update video from Wednesday night. Uh, I haven't recorded it as I'm recording this, but I'm planning to as soon as I finish this video. Uh, but I will have an update video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Uh, I will be talking in that video about the kind of video schedule for now uh, and how these things are, you know, how the videos are going to work right now. Uh, holy smokes, there is a ginormous dip right here, and I'm going to plant around it because I don't want to plant in it. I cut through the lower spot there. Or the smaller dip, I should say. Going to kind of make for a pain in the butt come harvest time, but can't really do much about that. Unless I went into the map and smoothed it out, uh, which I don't really feel like taking the time to do. At least not at the moment. Uh, I actually don't even know the last time I used Giants Editor. Uh, as many of you know, I was working on a map of the How Farms Work farm. Still have it. I haven't touched it in a while. I have a lot of work to do on it yet. Um, I may get back into that at some point. We'll see. No promises there. Or, well, I mean, at some point or another I will get into it, but when I uh, honestly don't know. Yeah, at least for the time, I don't see that happening in the super near future, but... And our seed has disappeared now, so I guess you could say that's a good thing. I make a tight turn here, actually a little tighter than probably should have, but get turned around here and continue. Uh, it does feel good to be making videos again. Uh, I mean, I could have kept going along for, you know, I could have just never stopped or something like that, but um, did feel good to have a break. It's been almost five month break. Uh, actually, by the time you guys see this, it's probably been about five months uh, since I've done, like, actual Let's Play video. Uh, I have had a couple of videos out since then, but um, not, like, actual Let's Play videos or whatever, uh, or series videos, you can call it pick up this little bit on the corner here and again turning sharper than I should have but that's all right still a little uh bit of a dip right there. Not as bad as right there would be though. I wouldn't even want to take the combine into that. It would probably just stick itself. I would probably just catch the header on that area or something. Knowing the uh, way that farm sim works anyways. It does kind of stink about the uh, seed tender there. I may have to look into getting... I might just fire up a test save game and uh, look. Maybe I might have to get... Oh, where is it? Uh, this Meridian tender, maybe? Uh, I may have to get that to use to fill it. Um, or, you know, like this tender or something like that. Like a different tender trailer. Um, I'll probably, I'll play around with it some and figure out, you know, what needs to happen. And then if I figure out, you know, like there's a different tender trailer that I can use, I'll just, um, you know, like instead of selling this one and buying a new one, uh, since we obviously only have $6,000 at the moment, um, what I will do is just edit the save game XML or the vehicles XML for this save game, I mean, and, uh, replace you know that tender with whichever tender will actually work and then um, you know basically so like it was as if we had that one all along basically uh, instead of just buying a brand new one you know and selling this one and all that stuff going through that whole 
uh, that whole phase. So I think we'll go one more time around here and then uh, we'll most likely finish this field off in tomorrow's video. And then, uh, yeah. And then we'll be able to start on our other wheat field there. I do actually want to check. Let's stop here, shut this off, and raise it up. So this does wheat, barley, canola, soybeans. Uh, the oilseed radish grass okay so this does not do uh, sunflowers so we'll have to use our international cyclo planter for basically the rest of our planting um, we could use this for planting soybeans as well I guess uh, in all honesty since it can plant it but um, you really don't see people I don't at least around here I don't really know of many people that actually use drills to plant soybeans uh, I could be wrong I I've usually known people use like you know, corn planters uh, I know I call them corn planters because you know they could be a DB planter or whatever even though they are used for more than just corn but uh, corn is usually what they're meant for or what they're u most used for I'll say so that's usually why I say corn planter. Pick up that little spot that we missed there. We'll back up and get turned around. Actually, already about halfway done with this field or so. Um, it is a, I mean, it's a decent sized field, but it's not like field three or anything like that. Any of those large fields. Uh, those we won't be farming for a while yet uh, until we upgrade our machines uh, to some larger equipment. Wouldn't go like full blown, you know, like. Uh, seed hawk or anything like that on this map uh, but maybe like John Deere air seeders or something like that you know something like that and maybe a, a DB planter or a Kinsey 3800 uh, corn planter something like that you know something that's not like super huge but it's not you know small like what we're using right now uh, so I think uh, what we will do is we will call it a video right here um, it may or may not be a half hour I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here anyways oops my bad um, and then uh, <clears throat> and then uh, we'll be back tomorrow um, for another one so that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description. I got all kinds of randomness down there. I got uh, some PC specs and links to some channels and other stuff. So make sure you go check that out. And uh, be sure to check out all the other videos on the channel as well. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.